marker. Okie dokie. Oh, I wanted to see. J Decker, can I give you a hit and run? I can. Cool. Sorry. I guess there's a helicopter outside? Hmm. Where is it? Okay. Okay. Alright, so we can either do the children of MJP, which is a main mission, so we don't, probably don't want to do that yet. Warriors of the League Militaire. Uh, a brave ally, a brave's allies, comrades, which will probably give us more 3G upgrades, but we might want to hold off on that. And Londo Bell stuff. A new story. Londo Bell receives a new Gundam on Luio and Co's request. Let's go say hi to Londo Bell. Sounds like we're heading to a colony named L Londonian this time. Lindenian. I feel like I know that name from somewhere. I mean, of course you should, you know? HQ to Londo Bell? You say that like it should mean something, but... Oh, I know who they are. Londo Bell's unit has stopped access during Char's Rebellion, right? Absolutely. I would have thought it common knowledge to anyone living on Earth. What's that supposed to mean, Kosuke? Are you chewing us out? Hey, it's on you uh, three that you didn't know. You should pay more attention to what's happening in the world. Oh, it's fine. It's not that bad that peace made them forget, right? <laughs> Even Chizuru thinks we're soft and silly. Don't sweat it, Yuda. Why are you going to, uh, why are we going to meet Londo Bell, though? Well, that should be obvious. We're gonna get them to join Trihaven. Still, the Londo Bell is very little in the way of fighting force these days. Why's that? Well, first they lost the mobile suit team captain, Amuro Ray, during Char's Rebellion. After that, they were responsible for crippling the villains, such as they were, finding the little place's box incident. Apparently, though, their view that was viewed as an overreach of their authority, even as an autonomous unit. And now they're more of a title than a real unit. That's not a lot of point of getting them to join Trihaven, then, is there? Well, I think Captain Mitzvah uh, uh, would have come to the same conclusion, but... What do you think, Koji? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. I mean, hey, we're already almost there, right? We might as well go and see what they've got. Koji's still not over what happened to Amuro, is he? Ain't a surprise. You and I both watched a friend we've known ten years vanish right before our very goddamn eyes. In the end, though, neither he nor I could get in between Amuro and Char. And Denian. Let's screw it. Let's see how Bright's doing, at least. And that is my request of you. Mobile Suit Gundam NT Narrative. I don't know anything about narrative or NT. So this is all going to be blind to me. So this will be fun. You wish for us to handle this mobile suit test as well as employ its pilot. Furthermore, you will allow me, Michelle Luyo, uh, aboard to monitor tests. Monitor test. You will let my secretary, Brick Telcato, Telcato, uh, and the suit maintenance staff accompany you as well. Hi, Brick. I gotta say, you don't match your name, dude. Very well. I understand your offer. So, what I don't understand is why have you come to me? As you must know, the Lando Bell is all but decommissioned. You might call it a connection. You mean a political connection? No, the ties between people. Convergent moment, serendipity. The world turns unified as one by connections we sometimes call fate. It is this kind of connection that draws Lu uh, Luio and co to choose Lando Bell for this project. I see. A wisdom I would not have expected from Luya Woman's right hand, Michelle Luya. I'm sorry, that name tripped me up. Luya Woman? Okay. Oh, I was unaware you'd heard of me. I had my own connections with Luya and Co. since the Grips War. I've heard that your abilities in fortune telling have been guiding hand, Luya Wheel. And I hope that gives you some respect for my judgment on this matter. I'm sorry, did you say fortune telling and respect in the same sentence? Here, Captain Bright, allow me to offer you a useful piece of information. If you're trying to offer me something on my, for my nose, I'll pass. Perhaps that might offer, uh, offer myself well top brass, though. I'm well aware. I'm also aware that this is exactly the attitude of yours that ensured you remain stuck in the position you're in. The information I'd like to offer you is significantly more personal. Are you going to tell me my son became a supervillain again? Personal? For example, I could tell you you might find a dear friend of yours. Are you offering to tell my fortune? If you're concerned, don't be. This comes from Luyo and Co's information network. Thanks to the place's box incident, Anaheim Electronics is failing. Luyo and Co's influence is immeasurable. The RX-9 we will give you to ensure you can act on the information you receive. 
Captain Bright, I do hope you're willing to accept our offer. Okay. Well, let's begin. Today's mission, a new story. Now, deploy, uh, now begin the test. Deploy the narrative. That's the narrative, huh? The narrative Gundam. What is it exactly, I wonder? Good. Seems the Apex have been well set up. Honestly, I'm shocked that uh, we can stuff that much equipment into a beanpole of a suit. I guess that's what you get from uh, you get from a new Gundam prototype model, though. It's an old design, but a good one. Where'd you learn that? I've been with Captain Bright since the good old AEUG days. I've handled a whole bunch of Gundams through the years, and I've worked on a new Gundam, too. I can tell the moment I laid on this on it. Miss Rochelle. I don't mind, but it's bound to come up at some point. As long as he doesn't pay close attention to what's in the narrative, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the point is that you can trust us to work on the suit. I was concerned about betting on Bright's capabilities. Glad to see that this is already proving useful. fruitful. What capabilities of the captain are you talking about? He has a power that attracts Gundams to him. I suppose that's the simplest way to put it. Yeah, it's called plot convenience. They didn't want to keep making a bunch of new captains when people already like Bright. Ensign Jonah Basta, report your current status. The narrative is doing fine. I'm going to test the expansion boosters. How's it looking? It seems fine, but at this point, I wouldn't exactly say he's a standout pilot. According to service history, he's apparently part of a different unit before he came to us and trained there, but their rating of him was that he is ultimately just above average. So a rookie like him is somehow a test pilot for Luyo and Co.'s secret mobile suit. What do you think, Captain? I agree with the evaluation. He's not bad, but that's about all I can say. <laughs> do you think he has a new type potential? Don't tease me. Unless you stay started to believe that those connections Miss Michelle was on about. I suppose I do a little. After all, you've once again got a Gundam under your command, Captain. A Gundam with the Lando Bell. Seems like good bait indeed. We've confirmed unknown units approaching. Maybe, uh, may have good bait, but we were only just started fishing. That was fast. It's Neo Zeon. One of Bell's nemesis to Neo Zeon, after all. Well, I thought we'd have to lure out whoever it was skulking around, but I didn't expect him to jump at the bait with the numbers right away. Retreat, Nancy Jonah. Get out of there. Yes, sir. No, have the narrative move forward. Michelle, you're not allowed on the bridge during combat. As your sponsor, I'll not hesitate to speak out how the narrative should be used. The ship will need to cover to retreat anyway. Do you understand, Jonah? If you're going to chase it down, you must be strong enough to shred through foes like these. Chase what? Captain Bright, give the narrative the order to attack. Captain, I'll do everything I possibly can. All right, don't do anything reckless. Yes, sir. The Rock Halem will move forward as well. Support the narrative. I've got to do this. You will do this, Jonah. It's the only way to make amends for our sins. Penalty kicks and it makes it easier for them to be hit. Really? When a unit is attacked multiple times same turn, a penalty kicks and it makes it easier for them to be hit. That's... I knew about the one where they're surrounded, but that's new. Or at least it's not uh, one I've ever seen. Okay, this music's interesting. All right, let's see. This is the Narrative Gundam Apex, piloted by Jonah. Skill is pretty high. Close combat and snipe and range attacks are the same. Oh, look, what a mystery. He has a mystery skill. It couldn't possibly be. It's a new type, isn't it? One large. A Gundam that's one large? Wow, those packs had a lot of weight. That's some range, too. Okay, uh, let's sell. Get you up closer. And pull you back. Because I'm not going to put you in... I'm not going to make you be bait to a bunch of Xeon units when I've got the Londo Bell right here to help protect you. We're just going to kick their ass from here. I've got no... Uh, I've got no turn... Uh, I've got no turn requirements. Neozion's rapid response to us. It's almost unnaturally fast. I'll need to be wary about this. 
幕を張れ手法発射バイダメだ What's your furthest range post movement attack? One to three. Or one to four with Vulcan. Oh, wait. They could come to us. The narrative Gundam, our secret ace to capture the Phoenix. I will master it, for Vita's sake. You're throwing a lot of proper nouns at me, and I got no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Large beam saber. This reminds me a lot of like two specific units in the OG series, and I want to let you know, I never deployed those units because I thought they were dumb. So, uh, Narrative Gundam, you've got an uphill battle to gain my respect. High Mega Cannon. I didn't realize the name before. You have the High Mega Cannon. Huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna get them to stay in place and keep supporting each other. They're putting up a better fight than I imagined. The brass thinks they can win over that one just by, by just crushing the Lando Bell? It's never that easy. Still, they knew the Lando Bell had a new machine. How'd they find out that out so easily? Captain, it's going very badly. We we haven't taken a single shot. No, I think we'll be fine. We're here! Uh not Bridman. Sure hope you're safe, right? Thanks for coming, Koji. Thanks to the rest of Trihaven as well. I'm Commander Mitzvah Great Valley of Trihaven. We are here to provide support. The captain, she's really motivated this time. You did well, Ensign Jonah. Now let our allies ta uh, take over while you retreat. No, I can still contribute. Very well, if you insist. As I said, though, don't push your luck. Especially if you have some greater task in your sights. Yes, sir. Then that's one gutsy pilot. Still, what in blazes is that brick of a Gundam? It must be a prototype model because it's not an EFF registry base database. All units back up Lando Bell and intercept all Neo Zeon units. I've got to live up to the captain's example. A little Zyde Knuckle to get rid of them. <laughs> okay. Just 
J Decker casually one-shotting folks once again. Okay, that's everybody. Come at me, bros. Zeon Soldier is going to try and get into a sword fight with Van. You can't beat me, my robot has toes! Jingle jangle! Forgot you do have a post movement attack. No, you don't. It's a debuff attack. Not, that's not the post movement. I thought this was post movement for some reason. I'm dumb. And you don't have hidden away. So. I'd rather get you a kill. Oh, it's a crotch laser instead of the chest. Great. He high mega cannons from his crotch. Let's ace him. Oh, only the boss units left. Alec, huh? Okay, well, I can still get a kill for you. Kind of feels off not giving it to him, though. You don't have charge, huh? I'd really expect you to have charge. All right, let's weaken it. We'll weaken the uh, boss, then. I guess we'll ace you another time, Ernie. Beam Naginata, huh? Huh. That's actually pretty cool. What am I doing? Supporters. Oh, 
If I can take down the commander, damn you, Gundam! Once again, you appear to oppose Zeon. I have a higher max speed. I can't react to their finer movements. If I can't read the enemy's ho uh, moves, I don't have hope. That's why I gave you bullseye. I can't fight anymore. This is Alec. I'm falling back. The enemy command unit is retreating. The, the Neo Zeon remnants. Behind them is almost surely the Republic of Zeon. The Federation and Zeon. The war between Earth Noids and Space Noids has changed, but it still continues to this day. I mean, it's neutralized, ma'am. Thank you, Captain Mitzba. Uh, we were only able to survive because of your timely arrival. Not at all. Your ability to hold this battlefront with such a small force was amazing. I'm happy to have witnessed the legendary Captain Bright's command ability for myself. I have so much to learn from it. Oh, so the whole reason we came to see the Londo Bell, I guess, is just because Captain Mitzba is a fan of Captain Bright Noah. I think there's more to it than that. Commander Mitzvah, I'd like to ensure I understand the situation. I have permission to board the Dreistraga. You have permission. I'll be waiting for you, Captain Bright. Earth unification. That's the goal we fought for thus far. But I... You're not sure you can handle it. I don't know. I can't, it can't have been an easy journey for someone who was a student not long ago. You have my respect for that, Captain Mitzvah. I appreciate the compliment, Captain Bright. I'll accept your request to have the Londo Bell join the Trihaven. Thank you so very much. However, I personally choose to refuse the position of leader of the Trihaven. That's what I was guessing she was planning on doing too. Commander Mitzvah, the Trihaven is yours to command. What? But, sir, why? Uh, Captain Bright, I can't imagine anyone better suited for this role. And what is it precisely that makes me so well suited for this role? What? Is it my experience? Is it merely my rank? None of that is what the Trihaven needs. But still. The world's begun to move toward a new era. The Trihaven, the very Earth unification you speak of, will be the tailwind to push that era forward. I'm choosing to follow your passion, that's all. But that passion is what Commodore Fikes is counting on too, you know. You're young and full of hope. You think so? He reached out to me before all this. He foresaw that you would get his command. And don't get me wrong, I sincerely want you to stay in command, and that has nothing to do with the Commodore. Captain Bright? I'm no different from you, really. I became commander of the White Base as an officer cadet myself under stressful circumstances. I threw my caution and fears to the wind and fought. And then somewhere along the line, people decided I was a famous captain. So you should do what you feel is best. I'll support your decisions. Do you think I can? It isn't a matter of can or can't. You will. Think of this duty of anyone who would command others. I see. Also have faith in those you surround yourself with. A commander's role need not be a lonely one. You sure picked up some catchy lines, Bright. Huh, does this mean back when we were in White Pace, you actually had faith in us, Bright? Ryoma, Koji! Hey, Bright, I haven't seen you since Charge Rebellion! Remember, we joined the Retry Haven before you. I'd say it gives us seniority over you. Hope you like being put through the paces. As you can probably see, Captain Mitsuba, sometimes there's something to be gained from throwing caution to the wind. Yes, sir! Bright doesn't want to inherit the chair itself, child soldiers. I've been through that already, thank you! I am not going to be in charge of that again! Watch yourself, Captain Mitzvah. Just so you know, Bright Noah is a real professional at seducing women on the job. I'll thank you to keep your opinion to yourself. Pardon the intrusion. I see you're busy, but... Michelle, I didn't think you'd come aboard the Drive Strugger. I was informed by the executive officer of the ship, Reynolds, that you would be joining the Autonomous Corps ha Trihaven. I wish to inform you that Lulio and co. is not concerned with this, as long as Narrative and Jonah ba uh, Bassar are still admitted to your unit. Of course, especially as I intend for him to join the Trihaven with us. Understood. We will continue to accompany you then. However, Michelle, today will be the only time I permit you to involve yourself in strategic matters. I cannot agree to that. However, I will at least refrain as much as possible. Very well. For both of our sakes, I encourage you to keep your behavior within reason. Incidentally, it's a good chance to hand over the information I promised you. However, you will be receiving it from someone other than myself. What do you mean? I would give in to the understanding that Trihaven is permitted to act through the uh, entire Earth's fleet. Would you uh, return to the surface? Should you return to the surface at any point, please visit San Francisco in North America. 
Oh shit! I should go drive and meet them. My sister is there, Stephanie Luyo. Inquire to her about your friend. I understand. Thank you. Bright's friend. It couldn't be. Yeah, it's probably on, bro. You're part of the Trihaven, Ensign Jonah, which means you could potentially be deployed anywhere in the airsphere. The Trihaven? The narrative's Apex are space gear. If you're going to fight in the atmosphere, you'll have to be with the B-Packs, so make sure to check them. Of course, the B-Packs can also be used in space, so feel free to swap the situation demands. Roger. Hey, mister, are you the pilot at Gundam? Yes, I am. What about you all? We're also part of the Trihaven. We came to say hello. You're with the Trihaven? You're all children. Well, Yuna's case is a little special. I mean, really, everyone in this whole team is special. Yeah, the Trihaven really is a miraculous collection of people. Mer Merkel, child, I see. Wait for me, Rita. I'm coming for you. But I'm go if I'm going to reach you, I have to fight to survive the Trihaven. Chevet Chiv class ship, Gold Topper. That's a mouthful. Welcome back, Lieutenant Alec. Lieutenant Zoltan. This is what a shame. Your mission was a failure. Yeah, real shame that. Too bad my Shin Sinaju Stein wasn't ready to roll, huh? It could have made all the difference. Hey, don't feel too sad, Lieutenant. Next time I'll keep you company. <laughs> Lousy defective red comment. I'm sorry. Ast Astonage and Michelle said it's supporters. Okay. We option parts. Here it are. Narrative Gundam A parts. Ooh, the B parts look more like something that's my uh, style. He gets less movement. Uh, can walk on the ground. HP lower, but he gets more mobility. And he goes from one large to a medium. Oh, the A parts specifically are only space. They cannot fly in the air. So if you want, it's considered none? Really? The A parts? Okay. Huh. This is still good though. I wonder I wonder what its specs are. Let's see. First off, power parts. Do I have any spare power parts? I have the land module. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Uh, do I have power parts from a unit I don't plan on using anytime soon? Striker scope. You drafts will drive. Those are very good. I've gone to like narrative. I. It looks okay. Let's give it some upgrades and see how it feels. After we get bright some upgrades. Pretty much all around upgrades. Okay, so its attacks are Vulcan Cannon, Missile Launcher, Beam Saver, Incom Map Attack, and then just a regular Incom. Not a huge amount of damage though. Also, I need power parts for Bright. Nope, oh, wait, hold on. Actually, that was the right button. A adapter isn't going to help you. Crystal tissue, I guess. It has a shield with the B gear. Oh, cool. And a booster. That's what I was looking for, was the booster. Okay. Hmm. 
Let's grab these three boosts. Just get those out of the way, because those were looking real low. Skill program. I need you to have hit and run also, though. Uh, let's give it to him. Let's give it to Bright first. Then we'll give it to Jonah. Okay, 